just keeping her back? Uh, that way it nah, no, nah, I was just trying something this morning, you know, felt good getting out of the bed. <laughs> well, speaking of feeling good, your teammate showered you the other night after the trip dub, and uh, talk about the feeling that you have for your guys out there and what they have for you. Yeah, they messed up my hair. <laughs> Got my hair all puffy, so I had to get my roots stuff redone, man. Oh, my God. Nah, it was, it was special, man. Uh, definitely a special moment. It just shows what type of team we are. Um, just happy for the next man's success. So. How excited are you guys just – I mean, it's it's mid February, and this is going to feel like a, a playoff game type atmosphere tonight. I mean, just how much pride do you guys take in that? Um, I mean, a lot. Um, we just try to go in every game the same Woo! way. You know? um, <laughs> every game. Hey, bro. All the games. So you're a little too close. I wasn't that close when hey, I was. What up, man? You bro. good? Yeah, I'm good. So I, <laughs> you I'm just trying to do my little, you know, do my thing over here. Trying to do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, we just try to go in the game. Every game the same way. Um, I know tonight is a big game for us, um, fighting for a playoff spot. Uh, and I mean, we just got to attack it the same way we've been attacking each other. The games we done played now, uh, just go in and just go out and fight, compete, play together, and try to protect home court. So. What can you say about what Damian Lillard's been able to do the, the last several games here? It's unreal. Um, I think he's averaging like 40 in the last. 10 or 12, something like that. That's crazy. Um, special player, um, can do a lot on the floor. Um, I mean, he's been torching everybody in the league. So, <laughs> um, I mean, we're just going to try to do whatever we can, uh, you know, to come out with a win tonight um, and hopefully win his basketball game. Is, is he a guy who you maybe not looked up to, but kind of looked at over the years? Because he's a, I know he, he plays different than you, but came from a small school and kind of um, made an instant impact on a, on a franchise, proving people, you know, some people up. Do you, do you see some similarities between you two? Um, I think when I got drafted, I had this uh, interview where I was telling everybody that him, McCollum, Curry, like those guys opened the door for me, like made a way for me for mid-major guys, small school guys to, to come out and, you know, uh, be able to play in this league. Um, everybody know their names, know they're one of the top players in this league. And I mean, that's what I'm trying to come out and prove myself. So. John, I know you and, you and Jaron are joking around here, but just the key to your guys' encore chemistry, what would you say in terms of developing that pick and roll, pick and pop chemistry? Um, um, it's just learning each other, getting a feel for each other. We know exactly what uh, we both can do on the court. Um, that little joking right there plays a part of it too. Uh, just the bond we have on and off the court. Uh, so little things like that, I feel like that makes a great team. Um, if you be around us, sit in our locker room, we probably will be laughing the whole time. All we do is just laugh and joke, but we do know when to get serious. So, um, I mean, we just spend time with each other when we can, you know, just keep growing um, and just go out on the court and perform. Speaking of that bond, how about integrating the new guys in that you just got at the trade deadline and, and, and getting them acclimated to what you're trying to do here? I mean, we have some guys who, who've known them for a while, uh, play with them, so um, that gives us a little boost right there. And as a whole, we're just trying to make them feel like it's home. Um, they're part of the family now. Um, we're going to show them that. Um, they even come in and started joking some, too. So um, just making sure they're just staying comfortable. Uh, and just ready uh, when we go out and play. So, John, yeah. you've mentioned that you know you love playing here at FedEx Forum. It's just it's, it's like no other. What uh, welcome do you hope the fans will give the new guys coming out here and playing tonight? I hope they give them a lot of love. I mean, they're coming in and fighting just like we've been fighting all year, um, being a part of uh, something new, uh, Grizz Next Gen, and um, everything we do is, is for our team, um, our fans, and this organization. So, how has heaven? your family here in Memphis with you helped you this season during this rookie season? It's my family. They've been here since day one. Um, keep them close. Uh, they live with me. Um, it's just that. Um, I mean, it's nothing else really. So They give you a curfew? A curfew? Yeah. I'm grown. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, I mean, T does say, hey, look, you know, you got to be in by a certain time. You can't. Nah. <laughs> was, was it your idea or their idea for, for them? My, your idea. yeah. Why was it something in your head that you thought was important for this year? 
basically what I just yeah. said. My family, they've been there since day one. So, you they're part of it, yeah. John, when you got drafted, um, I'm sure they gave you kind of a vision for what they wanted out of this team over the next three, four, five seasons. It's like a, a long future for you. Has any of that changed with how you guys have been winning? Has anything changed here? Um, I actually wasn't given that. Um, here, we focus on the day, uh, the present. We don't worry about the future, so. Um, we attack every day, just try to get better each and every day. So, has your has your approach to days changed now that playoffs and stuff like that are a reality? Nah, not at all. Um, I attack each day the same way, every game the same way. Try to get better in practice each day. Um, try to be better than I was at the beginning of the year, at the end of the season. So um, each day is a day to get better, and that's how I go about it. Final thing for me, you've, uh, a lot of players hit that rookie wall. You've played more games now than you did during your, you know, uh, in a season in college. How do you fight through that? And how you seem to be getting a little bit stronger as you're going along. Um, preparing myself for this, conditioning-wise, physically-wise. Um, we got a great staff that take care of our bodies and stuff. I take care of my bodies on my own at home. Um, it's just that. So just preparing for that wall, whatever they call it, and um, just trying to stay consistent. You're at, you're at the midway point, almost an all star break. What's been your favorite memory so far as your first half of the season? Uh, man, uh, probably my first win um, here at home uh, against the Nets. Um, it was a special night. Uh, my first win as a team with the team we had. Um, a big night for me. And um, it was just my first NBA win. So, um, probably a special. John, the, the floater you use a lot, and that's really effective on pick and roll. Is that something you've always had? Is that something you kind of developed over the season as you got into the league? And something I always had, but yeah. something um, a lot of people say I couldn't do coming out of the <laughs> draft. So, once again, proving them wrong. Did that first win kind of stand out because of it wasn't not against Kyrie, but just because you had that big fourth quarter to block on Kyrie and then the assist to end it? Yeah, that was my first career NBA win. Um, if I had zero points, zero assists, no matter it was my first win, that's what's special about it. Is everybody good?